Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we are starting talking about the import and export to the Revit. In this tutorial we will start from the SketchUp. This is most uh, usable program uh, for the architect because when you wanna get your idea, when you wanna test your idea, uh, probably you using some simple soft, this is SketchUp, because you don't need a lot of the time to understand how the SketchUp working. That's why it's simple, it doesn't mean uh, you cannot create here the some hardcore thing. Uh, for sure you can do that, but it's really simple to understand how it's working. Let's back to the Revit and the SketchUp. Say here is your building, which is you want to just import to the Revit. So you not will develop this building. This will be just entourage. So we will place it except this box. And here is our building. Yeah, that's why we need to create it in Revit. But those building we not. We just will place it and that's it. This is, will be just environment. Let me first, I will save my SKP file or SketchUp file, doesn't matter. I will go to the save as and uh, let me, here I already have it, but I will save it one more time on the, my desktop. Uh, let me will call it uh, building, building and as you can see here is uh, SketchUp model file and as if you will open up it, you will see different version. So I recommend you use two different version for the Revit. This is just a model and version number six. Uh, we have the reason for that, but uh, let's use for for now, let's use the standard one uh, file SKP without any version. Let's save it. You don't need to do anything. Let's go back to the Revit. Here is our Revit and let's load inside uh, our file. You can easily go to the insert and after that you need just use the cut link, link cut. Never use the import cut. It's a really bad idea. Use always the link. And after that, change it and you will find it here, the SketchUp file. Let's use it. I will go to the my desktop. Where is my desktop here? And here is the my building. Let me try to import this file. It will take takes about the time. After you're done, you will get the file here. And as you can see, this is... Uh, oh, it's totally what, not what I want. Uh, first, I want to unpin it because by default it will be pin it. And I will place it here, you will see what we get. As you can see, this is file really corrupted. See, so this is really a bad idea now to use it because and even Revit now is so slow. You can see it, it's not working properly. So as you can see, this is not a nice idea. Just directly link our building file from the SketchUp to the Revit. This is not a nice idea. How we can do that? The best way for the kind of this uh, type of geometry, as you can see here, is inside the group we have uh, one more group. If you go inside, we will get another group. Like this is like a, a toy, like inside one toy, you have another toy. So uh, for the uh, SketchUp, this is not a big problem. For the Revit, it's some kind of problem because it's not natural for the Revit. How we can export type this type of geometry? Actually, we have only one way. Select your geometry, go to the file, go to the export. Here you'll find the 3D model. Go there, choose where you want to save it and use the IFC. So you don't change any options here. If you understand what is that, change it. If you not, I will try to explain the later on. So and after that, just uh, type export. Uh, it's uh, taking not be, uh, a lot of the time to the export, but it's taking a lot of the time to the import. Because uh, I will explain in the next tutorial, I think, because it's a really big topic. So once you will go back to the Revit, go to the link IFC. After that, uh, just find your file. Here is your building. And as you can see, this is a bit the huge now um, wave, wave of the our file and open up it. It will take around three or five minutes. And after we will done, I will back. Here is our building. But before I will talk about this building, let's talk about why it's so long time loading inside to the Revit. Actually, here is the secret. Here is your IFC file. Revit not directly linking uh, linking your IFC file. Actually, Revit creating the another file. As you, as you see, here is the Revit. IFC dot Revit. If you will open up now this file, let me will open up it. Yes, it will unload. Yes, it will unload. It's okay. If you will open up this file, you will see Revit transferring your geometry inside to the project. 
and trying to um, change geometry by a Revit original one, but we don't have any category, that's why we have like one generic model file. It's okay, anyway, let me I will go back to the my project. Here I'm my project, as you can see here is not now any file. It's not a big problem because actually our file now unloaded. We just need to load it back again. Just go to the manage link here under the insert and you will find it under the IFC and not loaded. That's it. Just select it, reload and say OK. If reload not working like in my, in my case, just going back again, IFC, select it, reload from and select your file. Where is our file? IFC. And here is our building. Open up it. It's not will take a lot of the time like in previous one, but also it will take some of the time and say OK. And now you will see you, your building here. Select your building. This is not peanuts, you can move it right now. And as you can see, Revit not so lagging uh, like we did uh, just uh, sketch up file into the our project. We, I still can normally scrolling. And as you can see, we get the model. The minus of this uh, way, you not will able transfer here all the color of this building. If you remember, here was our building. Here there's some texture, as you can see, the bricks. And we not will see it here because IFC file not saving the texture. This is a minus. But if you are using the buildings or something else like the entourage, like the environment, it doesn't matter for you because always what you will do, you will say uh, override graphics by category and you will say this is, will be totally white. Let's say you should use uh, the first way you want to export your SketchUp file into the Revit without any AFC, only the SketchUp file. How you can do that? First thing, you should go to the file, you should go to the new and create the concept mess. The best way not import your geometry inside to do your project because in your project you are working not only with 3D, you're working with the beam data and this is really main for you and you want no one lost it. That's why I recommend you create the metric mess. Once you will do that, load inside this metric mess your geometry, your, your SketchUp geometry. But before you will do that, I recommend you delete all the groups. Right now here is not any groups, I already deleted. I think you already know how to do that, you can just use the some extension like explode bombs or something like that and this uh, plugins deleting all the groups. But after that your file will be really huge. For this building it's really will be huge, but for the conceptual thing it's not will be huge, it's okay, you can use it. Let's now load this project inside to the Revit. We're going back to the Revit and I already saved my um, SketchUp file without any groups and now I will go to the insert, cat file and here you will see the first one this is with groups and of course this is not so so big size. The second one it's uh, two times or three times more than previous one as you can see that's why we don't have any groups there. And let's, let's load it inside to the Revit as you can see I'm loading to the mass form schedule. Uh, not schedule the um, template. Let's wait it because it takes a long time. But the result, what we will get, this is what we you want. You you can see all the texture it's saving. We don't have any exploded models or the part models flying around our building. You get your model, and right now you can save your file and link to the Revit file, your main file. So this is the second way. But as you can see, if your file like this one, it's really huge, Revit will be lagging. So I'm not recommend you, really guys, I'm not recommend you. This is my best advice. Don't use the so detailed model by this way. If you have, for example, just the boxes from the SketchUp, this is fine, you can do that. But if you have some tailed model like this, don't use it because your file will be really stacking. And the last way, you shouldn't forget about this way, this is using the DWG, this is also possible to export our model. Let's select again our model, as you can see now I'm selecting a model with groups, I'm not exploding anything. 
and let's go to the file exports and here we will use the dwg let's export it and it will take a bit the time once you it will finish it just say okay and let's go to the revit uh, by the way, you can directly right now link your uh, CAD file, but uh, this is also not best way as I think, but let me show you all the ways. You can link here the file, uh, here is your building file, let me will link it, uh, where is that, somewhere here, oh sorry, dwg, this file, and let's link it. It's not will takes a lot of the time because uh, our building not have the big size. Here is your model. As you can see, we can uh, working with that. It's not lagging anything. You just the problem only select your model, but you can do like this filter and you choose your DWG file like this. And let's choose it. Let's unpin it because this is DWG. You should unpin it and let's place it somewhere here. And as you can see, here is our model. As you can see, it's not so lagging. We have two files. This is IFC, this is uh, the DWG, and we don't have any problem. I recommend you go to the new here, uh, go to the uh, new mm, new conceptual mess, select this template, and after that, go to the insert here, the cut link, uh, not cut link, import the cut, and import your cut to the Revit file. Revit will try to import all geometry. Uh, of course, it's not will be useful. And here is our DWG file, as you can see. Yes, you can change the, uh, let me change to the realistic, it will be uh, white color right now. But the nice thing, uh, you can save, as you can see, different groups. For example, I'm selecting these groups, I will explode it. I really don't like it, but once you will explode it, you get the same idea like in the SketchUp. Uh, you get your partial building, for example. You can select this part, for example, and delete it and get only two or for example you don't need this part you can delete it you need no need to re-export if you are working for example the in uh, sketchup or with the revit you can do like that and after that you can just load inside to the project if you need it okay you can see right now we have like few ways how you can import uh, without any extension without any other program uh, from the sketchup to the revit and as you can see the best way uh, it's my opinion the best way this is ifc because it's more natural one yes you don't have any colors but you don't have uh, later on you don't will not have any problems with the, this model the second way you can export your uh, SketchUp file, but without without any uh, groups inside of that, or you can export DWG file too. Okay, guys, th that's it for today. These topics will be really huge because uh, in the next tutorial I will explain you in another type of the import export to the Revit, and uh, you will I will try to cover all of the uh, files which is you can import or export to the Revit. Thank you, guys, for watching, and see you next time.